Hi, my name is Stasi and welcome to my second show, Deep Dive In, the Alesis Prestige Artist Piano. In the previous show, I demoed how to stick it together, what it sounds like overall, and it's a really nice, impressive little package. So in this show, I thought I'd go through some of the sounds and some of the extra functions it's got in here. So let's take a look at the front panel. First thing we see is a demo mode. Which is very nice, there's a few demos in there and you can pretend you can play. Next up, we've got a metronome. Not a lot more to show on that, but it's a metronome, quite handy to have, change the tempo, change the time signature, and practice. And then once you've practiced enough, you can record. Playing what you've recorded back is like listening to your own voice on tape, but let's have a listen. It doesn't sound as bad as I thought that. And interestingly, if we change instruments... So we've got an electric piano sound in there. If I play the demo song back again... It plays what I originally recorded, it doesn't play the new sound, so it's a bit like an audio recorder rather than a MIDI recorder. And everything sounds a little bit better with some reverb. We've got some reverb on here. Let's put it back onto the grand piano. So I've got it on a plate reverb here. Nice and bright. Let's take that reverb off. Back on. And we've got a few types in here, that's plate. We've also got stage bit sort of got more depth to it, more body maybe, a little bit less on the top end. Hall 2. Nice big bright hall. Hall 1. That's a much duller sound, isn't it? Maybe a wooden hall. And then a room. And you've only got one control on this, and that's depth. There's no time settings or pre-delays or EQs, anything like that. It's just a really, really simple mix knob, essentially. And as you heard there, we're not going into the sounds, or we're not going into sort of big soundscapes, we're not going into infinite reverbs that you might get on guitar pedals. You're sticking within and playing a piano in a space, which keeps it, keeps it well controlled. So the reverbs have got a really nice, rich tone to them. Anyone that knows Alesis knows they've got history there with the MIDI verbs from back in the 90s and the like. So they've been making reverbs and, and effects pedals for, or effects units for years. And it shows. And it feels nice to play into it. You feel like you're in the space, which is what a reverb's for. We've also got a lesson mode. This is really quite cool. So down low, playing high notes. Same note down here as up here. That's the lesson mode, so. Which is quite cool, actually. Normally you've got someone playing down here and someone playing up here. Nice little touch that, I like that. Now this is really cool. This is an ARP. I don't think I've had a piano with an ARP on it before. I'll put the latch on so that it plays when I take my hands off. And 
anything that can help me sound like I can play in time is a good thing. I don't know if you can sync it to your door, it'd be great if you could. It'd be great to get that into some club tracks, a bit of classical piano. They did it with monks a few years ago, so there's no reason why we can't do it with classical piano. I've got a couple of modes on this as well, it's not just up, it's up and down and things like that. So there's loads of fun to be had with that op, and as I say, I've been messing around with it for a while. We've also got settings, which you'd expect, you've got tune, you've got transpose, you've got MIDI channels, you've got MIDI local on and off, all the things you'd expect with that. But next, we're gonna take a look at the sounds. In this, we get 30 presets. We've got pianos, electric pianos, organs, orchestras, synths, and basses. And I played a few of the pianos in the last episode, but I'll just go over them again, because it is a piano. And as I said in the previous show, that bright piano really does pop out nicely, doesn't it? Always amazes me that he got a whole tune out of one riff. It's pretty cool. The upright piano is really nice, a bit more honky tonk. I really like that one. It sounds completely different, doesn't it, to the to the grand pianos? which are much more precise. Second one is a bit more hollow sounding. And then the bright. Much more poppy. Then we've got electric pianos as well. And that's like a Rhodes, it's called Mark 1 EP. I'm imagining it's based on a Rhodes. I did play a 9,000 pound new Rhodes last week. It doesn't sound quite as sweet as a 9,000 pound one, but for the price you pay for this, it's perfectly adequate. It's nice enough. I'd say nice enough, it's nice. Yeah, I like that. And we've got this suitcase EP. Not sure that's based on, but it sounds nice anyway. Very usable. Whirly, which I'm assuming is a Whirlitzer. It's got that Whirly sound. A bit more bark down at the low end. All the sort of things you'd expect from a digital piano, really. But done nicely. FM piano. Now this is the pure 1980s DX7 ballad style. Sure, there's hundreds of 80s ballads people could play along to that. What else have we got here? Oh, clavichord. And I'm not going to try and do Stevie Wonder's Superstition because I've never been able to play it. But if you wanted to play it, you've got it in here. Did I mention the harpsichord? <laughs> Little bit of Rolling Stones for you there. That's going back to the 60s, not to the 1600s. And then we go to the organs. I really like that sound, that transient punch at the front ends. Really good for those house bass lines. Got a few other organs in here. We've got a rock organ, a distorted organ, and pipe organs. <laughs> I feel like Dracula's gonna come and get me. Let me move over to the strings and the orchestral sounds. Ah, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Really like that sound. Get loads of use out of that. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can even use it on piano tracks. And we've got other sounds in here like the choir. Again, a useful little tone. Then we have all the other things that you normally find like vibraphones, celestes, marimbas. So you can do all that lounge lizard stuff. And now we've got synth sounds. I'm not a big fan of synth sounds on digital pianos because I've got a room full of synths, but they do come in useful if you're gigging and you need the odd tone here and there. Sounds like it's for those big 80s brass sounds. Polysynth. Again, I'm not sure where I'd use these, but I do know people like them. Hollow acid bass sound. Synth pad. Much prefer the strings ensemble in the orchestra section. Synth sweep. It's a synth sound, but if you know me, you know I'm really into my synth sound, so anything on a digital piano really isn't gonna float my boat, but they are there and they are useful. We've also got bass tones, so we've got an upright bass. Electric bass. Saw bass. It's quite useful actually as a synth tone. Square bass. That's like a square with a sub oscillator. Again, quite useful. And then synth bass. To me, they're more useful than the pad sounds, particularly as you can layer stuff and split stuff as well. So go into the split mode and here I've put the square bass in the left hand and a piano on the right. And you can change the levels of those as well. But interestingly enough, you can also layer sounds and you can layer sounds in the split as well. So if we layer that, let's put a grand piano and a string ensemble onto the right hand. So there you go, the artist Elise's digital piano. If you are in the market for a digital piano, do look at this, it's nice, it's neat, it's got a really nice feel, uh, and it's well within budget compared to a lot of other digital pianos, especially if you don't want all the bells and whistles. This is a great thing, so uh, do check it out. Anyway, I will see you next time.